Hello guys and welcome back to another karting video. So this video is going to be all about practice sessions. So I'm going to give you six tips in this video that's going to help you improve your lap times by structuring your practice sessions. And tip number six is probably going to help you the most, definitely helps me the most. So stick around to the end of the video and look out for that one. But apart from that, let's get into it and give you those tips. So tip number one, and bear with me on this, is actually to join some type of community. So that could be a community of your friends, it could be other people that you see at the track regularly, uh, team sport events, it could be the members at the team sport events. And basically what you're trying to do here is get a good group of people that you can go with regularly to pitch yourself against them, learn from them, and get good enjoyment out of going. I find that's something that's definitely helped me improve being on the track with drivers that are fast consistently and so you don't have to kind of deal with the public sessions all the time at least you've got somebody there to pit yourself against learn from and get some good enjoyment out of what you're doing as well as improving your lap times oh, and just a quick comment on this as well let me know down in the comments below if you would benefit from me setting up a whatsapp group or a discord server with the regular drivers around the local area as well. It'll allow you to kind of get on track regularly with these faster drivers, get to know them and really build up this great community uh, within this karting space in the local area. Okay guys, so tip number two is now that you have the community, you've got a few people to go with, is now to structure and organize the sessions that you are on. So what are you there to practice? What are you wanting to get better at and improve at? Without a kind of structure or a goal for the session, you are just going to be driving around and around like you have been before, a bit aimlessly, and you're not really going to improve anything. So tip number two is going to be having some structure to your session. Is it to improve your PB lap time? Is it to improve your overtaking? Is it to improve or try out a new technique? Once you've got that structure and organize that with the people that you're with at the start of the session, you can all benefit from that and get better individually and as a collective team and you'll have a better time doing it, learning from everybody there that you are with. So that is tip number two. Okay guys, so tip number three and probably number four as well is tip number three is to only change one thing per session that you are in. And tip number four being, don't be afraid to try different techniques. I think you sometimes hit a bit of a wall and you don't change anything after 30 to 40 laps. So just mix up your session a little bit. But delving into tip number three specifically, if you only change one thing per session, say you want to improve your PB lap times and you are struggling on a particular corner, just change that one corner. Don't change anything else that you are doing on the other corners, but you don't know then the changes that you're making to the one particular corner are going to work. So if you go on to a session, you change what you're doing in four different corners, you don't know which one has worked and which one's actually maybe not worked and is actually affecting your lap times in a bad way. So it's a bit of trial and error, a bit of kind of like A and B testing. So you'll go into one session, change something on one particular corner, come off that session, and then change something on that same corner in the second session and kind of compare them together to see which one has worked. So that's it. If you're going to change four different things throughout the lap, you don't know which one of those four things has worked. So a bit of a structure to how you're wanting to improve your lap times. It will take a little bit longer, yes, but you will know exactly where you are improving or not improving. And tip number four is being not afraid to try different things. Yes, you might hit a barrier. Yes, you might be slower for that lap, but don't worry about it. You're there to improve. That is what these practice sessions are there to do. And especially if you've got this great community of people that you've now joined, or you're going with regular members as well, you'll build up a good kind of rapport with each other and learn from those guys as well. Which brings me into tip number five. Okay guys, number five and probably one of the most important as well as number six is that you've got to listen to other people. People that are slower than you as well as people that are faster than you. Something that they might just say might just change your technique and give you a different outlook on how to approach a corner, 
how to drive the car, how to completely change your braking technique. This actually happened to me. I was kind of stuck around 24.3 second lap times at the Team Sport whole track and someone said to me, oh, just try braking like pretty much on the apex. I thought that was completely counterintuitive. You're slowing down on the apex when really that's the time when you're putting your throttle on to get a better exit. And just modulating the brakes on the apexes on that particular track and the surfaces, I'm now taking four, five tenths off my time with that change in technique. It's definitely a bit of a mindset change when someone tells you how to do something differently or gives you advice on how to do something differently, but I cannot tell you how much benefit that will have, especially if you're going with regular drivers that you're getting to know quite well, you're in this community and you're setting up these structured sessions, is that if you can learn one or two little bits and go home with one or two bits of advice every time, you're going to be such a, a better driver in all aspects, not just raw speed and raw pace, you're going to be able to change your technique, that's going to let you change your technique quicker in the future if you do need to, and could help you improve your overtaking and ultimately get you your faster lap times and higher positions in the races that you attend. So got to got to listen to other people or take their advice on board and you might just find that that feels so much better on the track when you look at the lap times when you come out of the car you might actually be quite surprised that you have beaten your times with something that may have thought initially to be quite alien and quite uh, counterintuitive and that's what I've found anyway and I think it's been one of the best things that you can do there's many ways to skin a cat and take different corners so definitely definitely listen to the people that you are there with and uh, so faster drivers and slower drivers in there as well okay guys so the final tip and tip number six and probably one of my most important ones I feel is definitely helped improve my driving the most and probably one of my favorite ones as well is to actually benchmark yourself against the other drivers in the session especially if you've got somebody in the session that you know is faster than you or even if you are similar pace to somebody in the session get together get out on track wait for each other so you're kind of behind one another and work together to help yourself improve and help them improve you will immediately be able to see where you are losing time, where you are quicker than them in certain parts of the track and where you are losing the time. Go off the track, have a discussion with them, see what techniques they're using, how are they pulling away from you at that particular point in the track. And when you get to the next session, you know, flip that around and let them follow you. Let them see where they are losing time and gaining time as well. So that's definitely something that's helped me quite a lot so guys, that is going to conclude this video and I hope these six tips help you improve your lap times, improve your techniques and your driving in general. So if they have helped you and you do feel that this video has been informative, please drop a comment down below. Let me know which tip you think is going to help you the most. Drop a like on the video and consider subscribing to the channel for more content like this. So thank you very much guys and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.